Welcome to Chef Allie's Farm Fresh Kitchen. I'm excited to have you in the kitchen with me today and we are going to do something that is going to make your life in the kitchen so much easier. Um, I love to do my bacon and we've got a package of um, thick sliced uh, bacon here and I love to do my bacon in the oven is what I started to say. And here I just have a um, baking sheet. Make sure you use one that's got um, an edge or a rim on it um, because we want to keep all of the fat from the bacon located on this pan and not in the bottom of your oven. I've also got a piece of parchment paper here and this is going to help with cleanup. So we'll just take our bacon out of the package and we're going to lay it first um, single file just as close um, to each other as we can as far as these slices go and sometimes at home um, I'm always cooking for teenage sons and they absolutely love bacon on Sunday morning so what I do is I will cook a couple different packages and then throw some into the freezer for later but what you can also do is lay your bacon on top of each other like this um, crosswise and it cooks up just fine now what we're going to do next is we're going to take our baking sheet of bacon and we're going to put this into a cold oven. You cannot preheat your oven. The reason that we're going to do this is because when you put your bacon into a cold oven, the pan and your bacon heat up with the oven and this lets your bacon lay out there flat. All right, our bacon um, has cooked just a little bit in the oven, and as you can see, we kind of need to give it a little toss. So typically what I'll do is I'll just pull off this top layer, and I set them kind of over to the side. And then I like to go ahead and turn this bottom layer over using my tongs. Whoop, watch out because you will fling a little bit of that bacon fat around. That's what really makes it good. We're going to turn these over so that it can get crispy here. There we go. And then these guys I'll just gently lay back um, with that uncooked side up so that those can get brown as well. And then we're just going to go, we're going to go right back into the oven for four or five, maybe ten more minutes. Okay. All right, our bacon is out of the oven. It's nice and crispy and brown. And at this point, we're just gonna take our tongs and remove that over to our paper towel lined plate. But don't you love how nice and flat and perfect the bacon is? Just perfect for eating. And then the neat part about the parchment paper that we have here on the baking sheet is we can just wrap all that up, toss it into the trash, and that makes our cleanup much, much nicer. So there is the oven baked bacon. And I invite you back here to join me here in Chef Alley's Farm Fresh Kitchen. I love having you here for our cooking videos and our kitchen tips and of course the health and wellness that we offer when we bring Karen Hansen, our dietitian, in. And I invite you to look for the article in the Kansas Farm Bureau's membership magazine, Kansas Living. I'm Chef Alley and remember, now you're cooking.